Hello everyone, my name is Mohammed al -Muzian. I'm a specialist of Montes, honorary lecturer at the University of Sydney and honorary research fellow at the University of Edinburgh. Today I'm going to talk to you about the effectiveness of ultramic protocol and protraction face mask. As you know, there are different activation protocols for rapid maxillary expander. There is Hass regime, Tim and Isaacson, and they are variable in, in number of turns per day, depending on the patient age or the clinician philosophy. A new protocol called Ultramic Alternate Rapid Maxillary Expansion and Constriction or Ultramic. The Ultramic has been developed by Dr. Leo at Lift Orthodontist in Taiwan. The theory behind it is the following. First of all, we know that the resistance point for expansion of the maxilla rests in the green region which appear in the uh, picture in front of you. And these are the circummaxillary suture, trigger the plates and circummaxillary suture. If we expand the maxilla, rapid maxillary expander once or twice a day for one week, and then we ask the patient to constrict it once or twice a day for in the second week, and repeat the cycle up to uh, seven or nine cycles, this might result in some alveolar bone bendings. And when the alveolar bone bends, it will release some cytokine and bone resorbing factor, such as ATP, uh, ROS, and NO. And these factors will result in activating osteoclast and the osteoclast will release the resistance point or the green region uh, in the figure. And this means that the, uh, the maxilla will become disarticulated, mobile, and if we apply any protraction force, the maxilla will move significantly forward. As we know, we are an evidence-based clinician and we need to answer uh, this question using an evidence-based way to, uh, and the best way to answer that is by undertaking a systematic review and meta-analysis. And we actually undertook a systematic review, which is in the press and should be released soon, maybe by the end of this week. Uh, and in this systematic review, we answer the question whether uh, the autonomic protocol will add some benefit at dental and skeletal, as well as soft tissue level when it's combined with a protraction face mask. This paper will be published in the Journal of Orthodontics, the official journal of the British Orthodontic Society. As in any systematic review, we register the systematic review with a Prospero and we follow current guidelines and we uh, set a specific eligibility criteria. Our, our PCOS formats involve patients who, had, who aged 7 to 11 years and they presented with class 3 malocclusion and they have been treated either with ultramic protocol in conjunction with protraction face mask or the comparator includes patients who have been treated using a conventional rapid maxillary expansion and protraction face mask or just face mask alone. Our primary outcome involved, involved uh, assessing the overall uh, skeletal and dental changes and our secondary outcome involved soft tissue changes, duration of treatments and number of appointments as well as the adverse effect and the complication associated with this new technique. We only included randomized clinical trial and we searched all the database without uh, date or language restriction. So it's a very comprehensive systematic review. According to our hand and gray literature searching, as well as searching five main electronic databases, we found that there is 1,206 study which might meet our eligibility criteria. However, after, we apply, after applying the strict eligibility criteria, we find that only five studies uh, met our criteria and they have been included in our meta-analysis and systematic review. One of these studies has been undertaken in Turkey, while the rest has been undertaken in China. The Turkish study has a high risk of bias, while those uh, who have been published in uh, or undertaken in China, uh, the three of them, they have a nuclear risk of bias, and one of them has high quality of, of, um, of uh, evidence. So what did we find? Uh, we couldn't uh, combine the overjet uh, measurements as it is mentioned in one study only, uh, however, our narrative analysis showed that uh, autonomic protocol result in, more, in around 2.2 mm more overjet correction if it's compared to a conventional protraction face mask and rapid maxillary expansion. At skeletal level, we found that the SNA is significantly protracted in autonomic uh, protocol group, and this means that the maxilla uh, has more protraction if we use autonomic protocol as a result of this articulation from the attachment and resistance point. 
We also found that there is uh, less retardation and rotation of the mandible when protection face mask is used. And, uh, and in conclusion, at skeletal level, we found that there is more, uh, significant maxillary mandibular uh, changes if autonomic protocol is used in conjunction with face mask. I didn't mention uh, the findings of other uh, variables as they were, uh, they were statistically not significant. However, in conclusion, we found that there is limited evidence with high risk of bias that overgen and facial profile are improved significantly more if autonomic protocol uh, is used uh, in comparison to a conventional rapid maxillary expansion protocols. And also there is low to moderate evidence uh, suggesting that in short term, autonomic protocol when it's combined with face mask result in skeletal, uh, uh, significant skeletal uh, changes in anthroposterior direction. Uh, we, could, we couldn't find any difference in terms of total treatment duration and participant cooperation. And our systematic review suggested a high quality uh, randomized clinical trial to be undertaken in the future to answer uh, inconclusive findings of our review. Thank you so much for your listening. Uh, please join our uh, Facebook group and feel free to invite your friend. Have a good day. Thank you.